Hi everyone! Um, so today I thought I would take a second and um, talk a little bit about working with white clay uh, because I've seen in some of the Facebook groups that um, people have asked that question quite a bit, like how do you keep your white clay clean? Um, and uh, it is not easy to do, but uh, I just thought I would share with you a couple of my tricks that I've come up with or you know have learned in other places and seem to work pretty well. Um, I will say from the very beginning though that working with light, white clay takes a lot of patience and you have to be very zen um, to work with the white clay. Um, you shouldn't be in a hurry. You shouldn't have, you know, want it, you shouldn't be wanting to work on something quickly. Um, it does require patience because any particle of dust or dirt or fuzz or if you have animals, I have a cat and I find cat hair, um, no matter how much I try and clean my surface or clean my clothes beforehand, uh, it's inevitable and you'll always find a little bit hanging around. So um, I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I like to keep on hand while I'm working with white clay. Um, and the first thing that I usually do is I have a piece of scrap white so it's already a piece that's a little bit dirty. You can see it has some specks and particles in there, um, but I always keep this on hand as I'm working. Okay, so take that out. The next thing I do is I have my baby wipes, of course, and I wipe down all of the tools that I think I'm gonna be using while I'm working with the white. Um, I even wipe down the package of the clay itself beforehand um, because you never know there's probably something on there and as soon as you touch it it's going to get on your fingers and then in, in uh, work its way into your clay. Um, so wipe down your tools, wipe down your surface, also wipe down the area all around your work area. Um, so I'm going to work down, uh, wipe down my ceramic tile and all of the surrounding ceramic tiles that I have and just the surface area around me. Okay, um, then I always wear gloves. I usually wear gloves when I'm working with my clay anyway, um, but specifically and especially when I'm when I'm working with white. Um, so I have a pair of latex gloves there. All right, so I'm gonna put that over here on the side. Okay, and the first thing that I'm gonna do with my white clay is I'm actually gonna put it through my pasta machine a few times, and I'm gonna start at my thickest setting, and I'm gonna work my way up to the thinnest setting. You don't have to go through each one step by step. Um, you can go from zero or one or whatever your thickest is, and you can you know skip a few of the numbers in between, but I do like to make sure that I go all the way up to the thinnest setting. Um, because sometimes with your thickest setting, you might not pick anything up, but if you're gonna go down to your thinner settings, there might be a little something stuck in your pasta machine um, that will get on your white clay. Um, so I go ahead and put that through my pasta machine a couple of times. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. All right, and that, um, once I do that, that's just gonna, you know, again, pick up any residue that's stuck in my pasta machine. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm always gonna keep this piece of scrap clay on hand while I'm working with my with my white. Um, and I will usually just take it and ball it up in my hands. And even though I'm gonna wear gloves, I still like to rub it around in my hands like that. And even on the back of my hands, all over and it'll pick up any of the dust or debris that you actually have on your hands okay and then I'll go ahead and put my gloves on and I do like to wear tight fitting gloves when I work with clay because it's gonna help with um, well it helps with the fingerprints but also if your gloves aren't tight fitting then you're gonna get like the fold marks in your clay when you're when you're pressing. So let's do that. Put those on, make sure they're nice and tight. Okay, and then from there, um, so I'm using the female professional here. And I'll go ahead and cut off a piece of that. And remember, I've already wiped down my tissue blade before cutting it. So I wanna make sure, actually I'm gonna do a little bit more. Um, I want to make sure that I'm keeping that white clay nice and clean. And then make sure that you close up your block of white clay immediately. Fold it over. Make sure that there's no way for any dust or air 
or dirt to get in there, okay? Wipe down your surface again with your scrap clay. Roll it in your hands again after you've put on your gloves. I know it seems like a lot of steps, but it's going to make you happier in the end. All right, there we go. We should be good. Okay, keep that on hand. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my clay through the pasta machine a few times, and then I will show you what I do in the case, in the inevitable case, that I still find dust in there. Okay, so I'll be right back. One sec. Okay, before I lay my clay down on my tile one more time, I'm just gonna take my piece of scrap and I'm still gonna go over my work surface with it one more time. Okay. All right, now um, you'll see, I put this through my pasta machine. This is on at my thickest setting um, because that's what I'm actually gonna be using. Um, but I don't know if you can see right there. You see how there's that little red speck? So even, even though I cleaned out my pasta machine, I wiped around it, I wiped underneath with the baby wipes before I put my piece of scrap clay in there and you can see, still see I have a little bit of a speckle. Okay, so what I usually do with something like that is I take my X-Acto blade and I just, I'm gonna set it down, um, and I just lightly scrape over the surface on it. Okay, and then wipe it on the back of your hand, take your scrap and lift it up so that it gets into that scrap clay and is not still floating around um, in your work area. Okay, other than that, it looks pretty good. It seems to be okay. All right, um, but yeah, so again, I would just take my knife and I would just lightly scrape over the top. And if you notice that there's any scratch marks in there that you wanna get rid of, again, just take your scrap clay, press your fingers on it so you make sure that none of it's in there. And you can actually just use your finger to smooth it out, or you can add a little liquid clay on there and smooth it out. I know some people like to use alcohol um, dipped in uh, a Q-tip dipped in alcohol, I should say, which totally does work. Um, I just find that with uh, Q-tips that they do tend to leave a little bit of the cotton behind. Um, and I guess that's not so bad when you're using white clay, but um, I just, it's just a preference. And I actually just like to use my blade um, to scrape it off um, the top. Okay, so I hope those tips help you a little bit making uh, using with, using white clay a little bit less um difficult um and oh look I see another little little piece right there so let's just get that out of there okay so yeah so I hope that helps um and I hope it makes using white clay a little bit easier for you all right have a good day guys bye